And now, aviation weather around Alaska. Let's see what the flying weather graphic looks like for tomorrow morning. Good VFR, central western interior, all the way out to Nunavak Island, to the Bering Strait. Some IFR for the central north slope and Arctic coast. And a band of IFR here sitting across the southern Bering Sea, uh, covering the prayer bluffs, and that's about it. Otherwise, out over the open water. Some IFR there on the south side of the Alaska Peninsula. And a band of IFR here stretching from uh, the eastern Gulf of Alaska, northeast Pacific, right on up across the Copper River Basin, eastern interior, all the way up to the Brooks Range. For the afternoon, this whole area goes VFR here as that burns off. Still some IFR over the western Susitna Valley there up to about uh, the park area. And IFR for the Arctic coast, north slope areas, and uh, IFR say from Passage Canal along the North Gulf Coast there, and then marginal VFR for the Northern Panhandle. Pretty good conditions elsewhere down there. VFR Kodiak Island, Bristol Bay, Southwest Coast. In fact, the Northern Bering Sea now becomes VFR here with IFR down into the central Aleutians, eastward there to uh, Fox Islands. And then for the uh, Saturday morning time frame. Kuskokwim Bay, IFR, on down to the central and eastern Aleutians, IFR along the south side of the Alaska Peninsula, making it to about the Trinity Islands, otherwise uh, northern Kodiak Island on up here. Good VFR uh, for the morning on Saturday, all the way up to the North Slope. Now you got IFR there to the Arctic coast. And still some lower conditions here from about Yakutat eastward there into uh, eastern Prince William Sound but the southeast coast, good VFR. And that uh, pretty much holds through the day Saturday afternoon, although IFR begins to arrive along the coastline there during that time, and uh, extends up across Prince William Sound, and again, uh, pulling westward here into the Manuska Valley, up across the Talkeetnas to the Alaska Range, Prince William Sound, turning an arm IFR, otherwise uh, Western Cook Inlet on down, to uh, Kamishak Bay, Homer, Seldovia. Most of Kodiak Island uh, VFR, except some marginal VFR around Shelikov Strait there back across Sitkanak and up to maybe Pasagchak there. VFR in the interior and for the North Slope, IFR to the Arctic coast. Narrow band of IFR here over the southwest part of the state. But the Bering Sea really looking good. A big area of VFR here down to Adak, Atka and maybe even the eastern Aleutians Passes Anatuvik and Adigan for tomorrow. VFR once again. And Lake Clark and Merrill looking pretty good for uh, Friday with VFR flying there. And VFR for rainy as well. Windy VFR. Isabel VFR and Mintasta also VFR. Tanita VFR. Portage, marginal VFR. Possible IFR here. Probably if there is some will be on the eastern entrance. And for Chilkoot and White, marginal VFR. Freezing levels, 2,000 feet here along the North Gulf Coast, then down south and southeast of Kodiak Island, back up across the Alaska Peninsula here, and then about 4,000 feet over the south central Bering Sea, and 4 to uh, 9,000 feet there across the southeast coast. And uh, we've got a band of uh, considerable moderate rime icing there up to Yakutat and then down along and off the southeast coast there, and could be a little bit of uh, icing potential here along the, and just south of the Brooks Range, as well as the North Slope out to the Arctic coast. And in areas of uh, isolated moderate rime icing here, Bristol Bay, Alaska Peninsula, and then out here with that uh, storm over the central Aleutians as well. And for the jet stream here, there's a low pressure area aloft there that's keeping the jet well to the south of the Aleutians. Still south to north flow here over the northern Bering Sea, mostly into the Russian Far East at about 70 knots. Actually, that's northerly flow there, not southerly. Southerly is over the central and eastern interior. A uh, good jet here across the east side of the state up to 110 knots right out of the south. And at 9,000 feet, 50 knots here across the eastern interior. 45 to 50 knots up across the panhandle. Lighter here with the trough axis over the western part of the state. And then northerlies, 40 knots, northwest Bering Sea. And again, the strongest winds now with this system shifting, weakening, and pushing southward. 
So those stronger winds uh, will be south of the Aleutians, at least by tomorrow afternoon. And uh, th at 9,000 feet, 3,000 feet is another story. Still have some 45 to 65 knot winds blowing around that right across mainly the west central Aleutians there. Lighter for the Fox Islands and southeast at about 40 knots here coming up into the Aleutian Range, Alaska Peninsula, Bristol Bay before they turn easterly. And then some uh, east uh, turning north winds here from St. Lawrence Island up to the western Arctic coast at about 20 to 30 knots. And then this low here in the Gulf, Southeast Gulf, 55 knot winds there just off the north coast of the Panhandle and just south of Yakutat. Turbulence wise with that area, there'll be considerable moderate turbulence there from about, uh, oh say Port Alexander on up to the Yakutat area. And a little choppy here for the Aleutian Range as well, that band of southeasterly winds there. Could see some mechanical, considerable moderate mechanical turbulence there, as well as the Point Hope Cape Lisbon area up there. And a bigger area of moderate turbulence here for the Aleutians.